Hi everybody and welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. Today I just wanted to talk about mining knowledge and um, what it is. A lot of people think that mining knowledge is knowing how to drive the truck, where from an employer's perspective, especially in hard rock underground mining, um, mining knowledge is knowing how the system works. So um, they want people that are blooded to the system and know what's going on. So to do that, I'm going to um, use this training here that teaches you, gives you all the mining knowledge that you need, just to give you an example of what the employers are looking for. Now, first off, this is duties of employers, and this is out of the WA Mining Act, but in every state in Australia, um, they've got a, um, a similar thing. And it's just going through the duties of the employers. And the employer has to pro provide a, um, a hazard-free workplace where practicable. Now, um, it goes into legal ease. There's a lot of complicated stuff in there. So underneath is a straightforward meaning of what's going on. So it, to, it, it talks about what practicable means in the Mining Act. And it basically means that the mining company and the employers have to be able to show to a court of law that they've done everything in their power to train you and keep you safe. Um, and it's all in here. So that's the sort of information that they're after. Other information is knowing a bit about safety. Now, um, this page is a good one, and there's some good videos on here, and I'm just going to make sure the sound is down. Yes, it is. And I'm going to let you watch this one. And you'd be surprised how many people think um, review their interest in the mining industry once they watch these videos. Oh, mate, I'm not going to dump it. He's not going to make it. down. He's not going to make it. He's doing a test run. Dump it, dump it. So that's a 200 ton truck running over an LV. And if you have a look at it, it's pretty flat. Um, and the truck hardly moved. So that's... The truck hardly even moved. That's one of the things that happens on the surface. And we have our own version underground, which is in this one here. And if you look at it, you'll notice that the ute just gets sucked in underneath the wheel. And even at this stage, the truck driver probably wouldn't know that they're rolling over something, or if they th thought that they were rolling over something, it would just be a, um, a rock of some sort. Um, stuff like this doesn't happen very much anymore, but it does happen. You've got to be switched on all the time when you're mining. And this is just some good examples of what can go wrong if you're not paying attention. Now we've got reverse cameras underground to try and negate what's happened there. And it's been a while since that's happened. But um, I always have a laugh when I look at this one and I see people talking about um, driving around in utes in the big iron ore mines around those big autonomous trucks that are twice the size of this. Um, when they start doing that, it's only going to be a matter of time before a ute load of people gets run over like that. And as you can see, it was pretty easy to do. Um, so that's, you know, sort of knowing about safety and knowing what you're getting yourself into. That's a big part of mining knowledge. And then if we come over here to the course nipper and other important duties, it gives you another idea. So it's cap lamp signals, um, refuge chambers, escape ways, all that sort of stuff, stench gas. And I'm just going to show you the self-rescuer because when you work in a hard rock underground mine, everybody's required to wear a self-rescuer underground. And like all the course, it's got goes into what it is. It's diagrams there and all that sort of stuff. And it also has um, the, uh, the videos that how to use a self-rescuer all that sort of wonderful stuff do the procedure as follows tear off the lock by abruptly pulling the belt and remove the cap it's a one-way action Make inhalation i won't bore you with breath. that anymore so quickly put once you put it on it's a chemical reaction and it gives you oxygen underground for a good um 30 to 90 minutes depending on model and um how fast you're using it it heats up when you use it so the air gets hot um, can be a bit discomfort, uh, bit discomforting. Um, when you go onto site in a safety and training room, there'll be one of these open and ready to go. If you decide to put it on and you, it's a good idea to do it, just make sure you give it a good wipe down before you put it on because you never know where it's been. So you can, um, normally they've got um, hand sanitizers and all that sort of stuff you can use to wipe it down before you put it on. Um, and lastly, um, we'll come over to the um, truck driving course. And this is more sort of information that the employers want you to know. And this pretty much sums up um, what goes on with um, truck driving in the industry. It's a good one to 
just to have a look at. Yep, it's boring as batshit, people. Um, once the initial rush of learning how to drive it and doing all that sort of stuff um, goes uh, yeah, um, is over, then um, it's yeah, it's a very repetitive job um, driving from the bottom to the top. So you know, one of the things that we I tell people to do, and it's a good way of doing it, is to make a game of it. Help the um, the uh, loader drive the grader operator roll the roads in by taking a different line each time. So if um, you take the same line every time going up and down at a decline, you end up getting huge, great big ruts in the decline. So if you take a different line, because when you go up full of rock, um, you are basically got 50 tonne of rock in the back of you and you've got pretty smooth tyres. So you're a great big steamroller. So if you go up taking a different line each time, then you can help roll the roads in and not have those big ruts. So um, big mines that have got their, um, their stuff together and that are a professional, um, they get their truck drivers to do that. And it makes it a lot easier. So that's the sort of information that I'm talking about with um, mining knowledge. Um, so mining knowledge, you know, it's a lot more than just knowing how to drive the truck. It's um, knowing how the operation works, where you're going to fit in, how the terms used, all that sort of stuff. Now you can, um, like I said, for hard rock underground mining, all the mining knowledge you need to get a job is in here in these courses. Um, it teaches you everything that you need to know, everything that the employer wants you to know. And um, that's the big thing with getting a job. And once you can answer the mining questions in the interview and you're confident with the information, then it becomes a big no-brainer for most employers. And like, there's a whole heap of people that have come through the training in the last couple of months that have found jobs in the last weeks. Um, and it just goes to show you that if you've got your mining knowledge up to speed, then there's lots of opportunity around. And um, if you go on to seek and type underground in, you'll see all the jobs come up and it's all over Australia. So I hope that answers your question on mining knowledge and um, where the jobs are. Um, yeah, if anybody's got any more um, questions, then I'm more than happy to answer them in the comments below. And I hope everybody finds the job that they want soon. Thank you.